Hey everyone, welcome back to Dead Space 2. Um, I could have done this off camera, but I figure, why not do it here? I feel very confident we can do this in one more shot. Alright, that was what should have happened, honestly, the first time we did this, that it should have been that clean, because it was like, you know, straight hallways, so, um, I believe one more of those dudes are gonna spawn. Do we have a small health pack? We have five regular health packs. Oh, here we go, our Tosis. See your shells, please. Oh, sweet, sweet loot. Okay, when you got that, okay. So so far, so good. Oh my goodness, more health packs. All right, we're gonna be stupid to not use one. So I'd be a bit of a waste, but when you have like five in your inventory, I think you're you owe it to yourself, man. And we have a lot of flame fuel. And we used a lot of secret shells. We went into that room with like 14, I believe. So, okay. I've been trying to make this point over the past couple of episodes. Man, I love this weapon. It's just like, here, have an epic tier 3 grenade launcher. I'm like, alright, absolutely. So now I'm kind of like, we should have upgraded the flamethrower. We have so much flamethrower around, but I don't think... I just don't think we're going to use it. So the point I've been trying to make... So, and I think actually we have to go through the gauntlet again. Maybe not? I don't know. They have to Your shells, thank you. Do you need ammunition, please? Thank you. Okay, again, we're doing all right. Oh, I believe my friend sent me a message, and I didn't notice it. Oops, I'm being distracted, and that's the sad point. Is like I don't think I ever complete my thought. The reason why I initially brought it up, though, is because someone said some things on Twitter like eight years ago. And then someone found those tweets today, resurfaced them, and that basically that individual got um, punished, for lack of a better term, for having said tweets. And I was like, that kind of sucks, right? Boy, I heard something. Something's up there. I 
some energy. Good. We're actually getting like a surplus of stuff, which is good. And I guess what basically what I'm wondering is like, should there be an allowance for things that people say? Because like to get judged for something, and that's the thing, is it, it's all relative. Like, so for example, if I murdered someone like eight years ago, I think by all means, yes, like. I should still suffer the consequences to this day. Here, Phelps, research log 43549. Uh, I blacked out early last night and woke up this morning staring at a tiny, fully formed version of the marker in one of the crystal air printing baths. I had entered the entire heuristic sequencing algorithm. I can still hear it in my mind, like a song now. I know the dimensions of this, but this is something entirely different. Oh boy. So, yes, murder, absolutely, but like. To say something and then like oh, That's why they're here so much on <laughs> What? No, no disrespect, but that kind of felt like chump change. Wow, that was probably the easiest proof I have ever done in Dead Space. So I, I guess, like for me, I lament a little bit how just in our society that these things can happen, right? To be accountable, for, and and I think. That was part of the problem is that you you post these opinions in a in a public space in a social environment. I, 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 I don't know, man. It's it's something I have to think a lot more about. And I think that's what happened this episode was that I had these ideas and I was kind of like trying to parse through them in my head. Oh boy, look at all these necromorphs. Uh, this is gonna lead to something interesting for sure. But maybe some people might have like strongly formed opinions on this, right? Cause I think just for me, like if you if someone has a tweet on Twitter, say like eight years ago, and then someone like kills and like pulls it up eight years down the line, it's like, well, oh dang man, like that really sucks. Oh, text log. Oh, give me this text log. Ah! Text log, let's read it. Overseer, time in, disappointed in the evacuation decision, consequences will be dire. That is all. Okay, so time in actually evacuate everything. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna, like, the rest of this episode is gonna be me managing my inventory, and I'm gonna hit the save station. Um, so if you wanna tap out now, I don't think you're gonna miss much. Um, oh my goodness, we have so much here. Look at this. All this money. Uh, player fuel, we actually don't need that much. And we are going to sell all of these. Oh, look at that. Ooh, and then we're out. Look at how many health packs we have, too, and all these stasis packs. And we're probably going to sell the stasis packs, too, as well. Let's see, here we go. See, because it's, it's hard because if I post something on like these YouTube channels and I say something dumb, like it would suddenly get punched for that so many years down the road. But on the other hand, too, I need to be aware that by doing these videos, like this is the risk I take, right? It gets one thing if you're having a private conversation in your own home and then someone listens in on it. that because you don't think you're in a public space, but if you willingly post your opinions online and then someone finds those opinions later even someone years several years down the fact is it wrong for them to have consequences and i think that like i mean it's unfortunate but then that being said though too it's kind of like well you knew what was going to happen when you um like you, you had to realize like that was a risk you're taking by having your opinions and stuff online 
So, and I think that's kind of where I stand, too. But, like, it's just weird, right? Like, because 20 years ago, like, this wouldn't have been an issue. People could say these things all the time. But now it's like, we have all of this awareness of, like, what other people say. Like, there's a lot more, like, it's harder to hide things from other people now in this current day and age. Which I guess in some ways is... I can see I can see the argument for it being like in some ways like that's a good thing and in some ways like that's a bad thing. Oh, another audio log. Here Phelps, research log 43553. I'm convinced we are puppets of some alien influence. I no longer believe we are in control of this project or ever were. I believe even our rationalizations for this whole thing are an illusion, planted by the forces behind the original marker, the, 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 the black one. We don't know how to make this thing. It is making us make it, and it's trying to get out, desperately. I'm under security watch after taking a sledgehammer to the tiny marker I built last week. We need to destroy everything we've built here, and destroy every record, every shred of research. They were right the first time on Aegis 7. This is beyond our ability to know or control. I have to go. My supervisor is whispering to the security guard. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, that's dark. And I, like I, oh man. Today's just been giving, has given me a lot to think about. Like I think in a lot of ways, society's awesome. Like there's a lot of great things, but there's other things I see too and I'm like, man, I, it's a little worrying. Okay, so now we have a ton of nodes. Um, oh, this is a plasma cutter. We don't want to do that. Uh, seeker rifle. I'm actually going to upgrade the Seeker Rifle because we we get into a situation law where we need the ammunition. Reload would also be good too, I actually think. Yes, we'll do reload as well. Why is it 1.45 seconds? Hold on, did we just make it slower? I'm not quite sure what that statistic is supposed to apply. Um, and yeah, we can get more capacity, I suppose. Fill this out. Alright, well, that's probably going to do it for this episode. Let me know if you have opinions below. We're going to save the game. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So until then, bye!